You know, I grew up in the southernmost beach suburb of Sydney. Pretty much from my teenage years, if I could be somewhere where other people weren't, I was really happy. So to marry a girl from Lord Howe Island, a place where only 450 people live, is kind of the place for me. Lord Howe lends itself to guided adventure. So when we came here, we started doing some guided walking weeks and we called them wilderness weeks and we called them adventure weeks, called them all sorts of different things. But it wasn't until our 10th wedding anniversary and we did the Arkaba walk in South Australia. It was an amazing experience and we finished the, the walk in the Arkaba station and on our desk was this brochure, which we'd never seen before. And it was all of the great walks of Australia. Yeah, since that time we've guided hundreds of people, we've run many, many walks, and now we're part of the furniture. As a guide, you see people go through all sorts of challenges. They have good days, they have bad days, but we always encourage people just to push through. And so what I've learned from that is that people have this amazing stamina, and every time they go, they learn a little bit more about themselves. And when they learn more about themselves and we're part of that, that's kind of a pretty rewarding experience. If you want to do the Seven Peaks Walk, firstly, you've got to be fit. And I don't mean like running marathons, but you need to be prepared because there's a lot of climbing. But once you're fit and prepared, the Seven Peaks Walk would be one of the best adventures of your life. And I know that because I've guided hundreds of people on it, and that's the feedback I get. 